plenty of winches, all within close reach. So this boat could be very easily sailed by a couple. As you can see, everything is led just into under the spray hood. Um, so reefing is done from a single point, main halyard on one side, reefing lines on the other side. It's all very practically laid out. The spray hood gives a really nice, cozy place to sit in up here, away from any spray. If we look down below, I think the layout and some of the features down here also continue the theme that this boat really was designed for sailing. Narrow spaces and plenty of fiddles and grab rails make it easy to stand and brace yourself while the boat is sailing down below. Immediately when you come down the companionway, you've got the heads, the galley and the nav station so anybody in wet oilskins doesn't have to traipse through the boat to get to what they need. So down below the GT35 is simple and it's quality. The attention to detail has made it feel really cosy and a nice place to be. might be a little bit underpowered in the lighter winds but there is an option for a bowsprit and a jenica which should make up those extra knots. My overall feeling is that I could get on this boat and go anywhere. I've really enjoyed sailing it. Mm -hmm. 